This tweet from the 14th of July illustrates Rosie Rios' ties in Congress and the Feds, which ensure the success of Ripple in the legal, regulatory, and business elements of its operations. Who else is aboard the train at this time? As in question, Mark, the impressive work done by the Ripple crew brings the video to a close. I hope that you enjoyed watching the video. It's been in the news time and time again, and I just want to share that I am on the board of Ripple. Ripple is XRP. And so when people ask me the question, why did you join the board of Ripple? I joined the board of Ripple because XRP serves a purpose. It's a function that facilitates cross-border payments. It's not some store of value, kind of arbitrary uh, uh, value that is not pegged to anything. This is actually what legitimate financial institutions use specifically for cross-border payments. So instead of days and dollars, it's seconds and cents. And that is the future, in my opinion. And again, this is, this is a function. So this utility piece, when it comes to crypto, is very, very important. I would appreciate it if you could give it a thumbs up. Subscribe to receive updates and share it with your loved ones and friends. We'll talk to you in the subsequent one. Peace as a result of recent news coverage, the price of XRP has surpassed that of Bitcoin, which was 59.0. This video presents interesting facts on the price of XRP, including the assertions made by Ripple X or P advocates that their coin is the only one that can be used for cross-border transactions. Because their XRP price forecast turned out to be accurate, be sure to mark your calendar and chart accordingly. There has been a disclosure of additional information regarding the value of XRP. In this fast-paced video, Ripple's chief technology officer, David Stewart, exposes everything. First, we'll go over important price benchmarks for XRP that you should write down in your calendar. You must understand that I do not have any training in finance or law, so please do not regard any of my forecasts as gospel. However, current reports indicate that the price of Archer per Corcoin could reach 13.59 before the end of the year. Our company is aware of the recent summary judgment verdict in the Ripple Sack case, which declares that Excerpt is not a security. This finding was made by the judge in charge of the case. There will be a big increase in XRP. Excerpt may be bought and sold on several different exchanges, such as Coinbase, Binance, and Akroshi. Even though the XRP pump has been postponed, even though the XRP pump has been postponed, a large one is anticipated to occur very soon. The third and last option presented cost a total of $29.40.34, which was paid for by the customer. It makes perfect sense for other significant financial institutions to already be utilizing XRP for transactions which means that the forthcoming initial public offering, IPO, of Ripple banks, particularly large ones, will use it. The XBL ledger will receive large investment and trading volume, which will lead to a significant increase in the price of XRP as a result of the increased demand and the decreased supply. Regardless of the level of sales activity, the high supply demand will endure since IPO agreements are being formed with banks and other financial institutions. For XRP's value to significantly rise, a large price increase is required. The world of finance requires a currency that is both reliable and somewhat steady. The tweet that David Short posted lends credence to this idea. It's possible that XRP needs to have a greater price to maintain its stability. Even Arthur Brutus, one of the co-founders of Ripple, has brought up the topic of global scalability. According to Arthur Brutus, one of the co-founders of Ripple, the value of XRP is approximately $10,000. When the global billing potential of XRP is realized, an increase in the number of companies who require and acquire it might be anticipated. People will be less concerned about the value of XRP's fluctuations and more willing to use the cryptocurrency if the price of XRP increases over one. More financial institutions will adopt XRP as conditions become less volatile. It should not come as a surprise that Arthur Brutus, one of the co-founders of Ripple, mentioned a price of 10,000 XRP. On November 23, 2017, David Short presented an idea that was comparable to this one. 
He advertises more than 10,000 units for the cost of $1 million. He claims that a drastically low price would be illogical because it would require 1 million extra P at the present price of 1.0. This is the reasoning behind his statement. Nevertheless, for 1 million per unit, they do not require one. When prices are greater and payments are lower, the rule does not apply because following it would be impractically expensive in those circumstances. Because of its prominence, I decided to switch to Forbes. A recent article published on Forbes makes a forecast on an impending price increase for the cryptocurrency known as Exerp. Forbes has prior experience removing stuff from Exerp, and after doing an analysis that lasted for five months, they found out that the content they remove is that which does not assist in achieving their goals. This is something that one would anticipate if the tale were genuine, but all that it has done is confirm that this is the situation. Rosario, a former official of the United States Treasury whose image appears on the $100 bill, is currently a board member for Ripple and has left the station. She announced it at the beginning of the month and she expanded on it today by providing further specifics. Recent reports have indicated that I am currently serving on the Ripple Board of Directors. I feel obligated to justify my decision to join the board because the symbol for the currency is XRP. As a member of the Ripple Board, I have faith in the potential of XRP, which makes it easier to complete transactions across international borders and is founded on actual data as opposed to arbitrary numerical values. This is a standard procedure utilized by reputable financial organizations, particularly when dealing with transactions involving multiple countries. This functionality is necessary for the practice of cryptography since it converts days and dollars into seconds and pennies, as can be seen in the picture dated July 14. When XARP was given its security clearance, Rosie Rios maintained solid connections both within Congress and the executive branch of the United States government. No matter what its legal or regulatory stances with the SCA, or whether or not other considerations come into play, Ripple will undoubtedly be successful. The team has been putting in a lot of effort to ensure that Ripple will thrive and continue to exist. The film is now over and we sincerely hope you enjoyed seeing it. By subscribing today, you can ensure that you are kept up to speed with any new content. If you thought the video was entertaining, give it a thumbs up and feel free to share it with your family and friends. We'll get caught up with you in the subsequent one. Uh, uh, value that is not pegged to anything. This is actually what legitimate financial institutions use, specifically for cross-border payments. So instead of days and dollars, it's seconds and cents. And that is the future, in my opinion. And again, this is, this is a function. So this utility piece, when it comes to crypto, is very, very important.